Clark County Today is presented by Connell Real Estate. Hire an agent, get a team. Learn more by visiting ConnellRealEstate.com. Good evening, Clark County. Jacob Graneman here with your Friday night edition of the stories we're following for you. Let's dive in. Clark County Public Health Today said there were 23 new cases of COVID-19 confirmed since yesterday. That brings the total in the past two weeks to 252 new cases, a slight increase from last week. There are currently 169 people with active cases, 25 people are hospitalized with a confirmed case, and five more in hospitals awaiting test results. Speaking of COVID-19, we've been digging into the data to try and answer some frequently asked questions from our readers. One of those has been why the numbers tracked by the State Department of Health often differ from what Clark County Public Health is reporting. The short answer is that providers are required to report positive tests, but some do it through an electronic database, while others fax information to Clark County Public Health, which then has to enter into the state database. The process can take a little while since the top priority of local health officials is doing case investigations and contact notification. The county tells us they are working with DOH to figure out why the state has 68 deaths listed while Clark County has 60 as their total. We're also looking at the latest data from case investigations into where the coronavirus is spreading the most and what it means when someone isn't sure where they picked up the virus. Be sure to check out our full story at ClarkCountyToday.com today for all the details on that. When public schools eventually return to on-campus learning, they might want to check out the hybrid learning model being used now at Seton Catholic. Here's Paul Valencia with more. When Seton Catholic started the school year, it started as remote learning. It quickly turned to hybrid learning with 25% of its students on campus. Now it's up to 50%. How did they do it? Well, community support and everyone chipping in. Students, staff, administrators, they all figured out the safety protocols. They all taught each other how to do it. Yes, and so this uh, hybrid model, the hybrid learning model that we are currently in, it's been truly successful based on the Health and Wellness Committee's uh, pre-work over the last five months. Our students and our staff and our amazing community with the parents that are supporting us in this transition. Would you guys will watch here, I think I get it to move. So wherever I go, the camera follows me. And then we go all the way around. So if, I, if it's one of the kids, if I'm one of the kids to see, I can just go like this, hand it to them, and they could, the camera could be on them. And so I can just lecture. I, I'm up here, and you guys can see. I'm up. And I 
So I'm, it's, it's awesome for me. I'm teaching like I teach normally. The kids have even said it online. They're like, it's just like when you're, this is like a normal year because you're still being you. You know, I can tell the jokes and laughing and whatever and just do it. And I'm just, I'm just being me. It's, it's just, it's natural for me to do it. And so it's like, I don't even think about the camera most of the time. When public schools reopen, they are likely to use a hybrid system. And yes, public school administrators have already called Seton Catholic, asking them, how do they do it? In the pandemic world, school looks drastically different. But if you ask the youth hand-in-hand -hand team, learning new skills is as exhilarating as ever. The team is composed of students from across Clark County who have one common goal, to give back. Together, they are offering free tutoring and online courses to students in the area. Youth Hand in Hand is a nonprofit organization run by students for students. Using donations and a buyback textbook program for funding, the team has already offered several courses and tutoring options over the summer 2020 term. Now, enrollment is open for fall 2020, with eight specialty courses available and personalized tutoring. Everything from robotics to coding in Python to cartooning to SAT prep is available. The group has representatives in multiple cities across the county, including Camas, Vancouver, and Battleground. Many students during the summer term were middle schoolers, but there is no age limit. Even some adults with extra time have been taking the cartooning course since the program is free to anyone. To partner with Youth Hand in Hand, learn more by visiting our full story at ClarkCountyToday.com. On the November ballot, voters will be asked to make some very important choices regarding Clark County, but most people don't think about our charter. The charter is a type of constitution, a document that controls how the county serves the people. Prior to the adoption of the charter, Clark County operated under a commissioner form of government established in the late 1880s. In 2015, the citizens adopted a charter which changed county government, putting more authority and responsibility in the hands of the county manager the charter expanded the county council from three people to five elected representatives. It also gave the people the power of the initiative. In November, voters will choose 15 members of a charter review commission. They will review the charter and evaluate whether or not amendments need to be made. Visit ClarkCountyToday.com to read the full story. Looking for something fun to do this weekend to relax with the family? Well, grab the popcorn because Liberty Theater in Camas is reopening this weekend after Governor Jay Inslee adjusted rules for movie theaters. Liberty Theater will open tonight showing two movies. The first show will be the 1985 classic The Goonies. The movie was filmed in Astoria, Oregon and celebrates its 35th anniversary this year. The second feature showing will be Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, which has been re-released in celebration of its 40th anniversary. The theater has procedures in effect to comply with COVID-19 guidelines. They request you buy your tickets online, which will allow you to reserve your seats in advance. Go to ClarkCountyToday.com to read the full story and visit CamusLiberty.com to see a schedule and buy your tickets. Well, there's a check of the stories we're following for you at ClarkCountyToday.com. Be sure to follow us on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube to see when stories are posted and be part of the conversation. Send us your story ideas and feedback. Our email is news at ClarkCountyToday.com. I'm Jacob Granham, and from all of us, thanks for watching. Have a splendid evening, and we'll see you again next week. Be sure to vote in the coming weeks.